What's going on guys, it's me Shukashu, we are back with another Uma Musume video, and in this video I will be going over the new event banners that we have gotten, and also the new event, going over the missions and all that jazz, but before that, just want a quick update on my progress in making my team for the upcoming champions meeting, and I haven't gotten a good Silent Suzuka, i just been training Silent Suzuka all weekend, and haven't gotten anything better than the one I did in the last video, which is quite sad. Just quite sad after a whole week, basically, of, I would say, good luck in training or good RNG. Um, I pretty much got <laughs> sent back to reality, so to speak. Um, based on the comments that I got in, a specific one would be the stats that I need. <laughs> just for her silent suzuka is crazy needing 1500 speed um what was the one that i got i believe it was above 1400 oh wait when did i train this one was this the same one i think this was the same one was it yeah it is okay So this was the one, I would assume so. And we only have 677 stamina where in this case we would need 700, but I don't know if that 700 is with a recovery skill because I do have uh, straight skill recovery right over here. 1200 speed, pretty much got that checked off. 900 guts, I have 929. And then wise, I do, it does say 1200, but I do have 1096, which isn't too bad. The only thing that I'm worried about is the stamina. So that is pretty much the only thing. So basically when I've been training, um, if I make it to the Grandmasters finals, the last five days, and it doesn't look like I'll get the stats I need, I pretty much just quit. Um, just so I don't take up space, but I've been trying to set up the whole time, and I would assume that I did get fairly lucky in this run. I didn't even realize I had 1500. I thought I had like 1450 or something, so interesting that I pretty much knocked off all the stats I needed, except I wasn't able to get the thing, so, or stamina, but, um, I haven't even tried... Narita Taishin. I was also told Mr. CB was good, but we'll see what I decide. I think I said fine motion, but looking at the new characters, why don't we take a look at them now? They both can run mile distance, if I'm not mistaken. Both Hishi Amazon and Nishino Flower can run both mile distances, so they came pretty much, I think, at the perfect time. For us to try and pull for them. Um, but we should go over the skills first. So I do have three pulls. So I might actually go for it. Who knows? Uh, we'll go over Nishino Flower first. So at level one. Three star. She has 94 speed. 80 stamina. 90 power. 89 guts. And 97 wise. For her aptitudes. We Oh no. Before we go to the aptitudes at level 5, 114 speed, 98 stamina, 110 power, 108 guts, 120 wise. For her aptitudes, we do have her as A in the turf runner, um, short and mild distance runner, and she, you can use her as a leader or as a betweener, but I think she is more of a leader if I remember correctly. Going over her, oh, and her growth rate? is 10% on speed and 20% on wise, which I wouldn't mind actually having that kind of growth rate because that way I could lessen a wise card because for some odd reason I have greater success with one wise card uh, when it comes to having their growth rate a little bit higher. It makes sense because of the growth rate bonus. So I'll take that. 
Uh, and that will give me room to possibly run another Guts card or even a Power card. Who knows? Who knows? But going over her unique skills, we do have uh, Flowering Dreams with 200 meters remaining in the race. If you're not in the lead, but also not in the back of the pack, your speed will increase. If there are three other girls around you, you will also get an instant speed boost. So pretty much that goes towards being a leader, I would assume. Uh, because you don't want to be in the second half of the pack, but you also want to, but you also want to have at least three horse girls around you. So it makes sense to be around the leader parts. Uh, innate skills: we do have mile corners, slightly increased speed on corners for mile distance race. Hanshin racetrack, sadly, is in Tokyo racetrack because I believe it's in the Tokyo racetrack. Uh, become a little better at the Hanshin racetrack. Downhill Adept. But it increases speed on downhills. Now, I was told in this um, champions meeting that it does have an uphill. Am I right? Um, right? I believe I was told there was an uphill. If it's a downhill, then... This would be better. I don't know if it's an uphill or downhill. I've just been told there's a long hill, but uh, let me actually figure that out. Might get a little bright here. Oh, that's the wrong page. Uh, I'm just trying to look. Actually, no, let me see it from this page first before we move on with the rest of the skills. Now, where is, there is mile distance. Okay, not that much information there. Let me go here. I think I deleted it. Uh, no, it's right here. Um, no, that's not the one either. Sorry, sorry, I'm on, I will find it. I will find it. Let me just click this. Okay. Left course, turf, bad condition, yada yada. Tokyo turf, 1600 meters, which is the same as the Yasuda Keenan. Oh, it was basically the Yasuda Keenan. Nope, I don't know that, which is if it's a downhill or an uphill. Uh, let me actually look at races. Maybe it'll tell me. Since they said it's pretty much a Yasuda Keenan. Races. G1. Mile distance. There it is. Details. Details. Please give me more details. Oh, it is. There's an uphill and a downhill. Uh, but it is a Oh, we're going this way, huh? Right, left course, if I'm not mistaken. We are going left, so yeah, that is the right direction. So I think there are... <laughs> so we're going that way. So is there a downhill in the beginning of the race? Because if it's going clockwise, it will be downhill to uphill. So yeah, it will start with a downhill, then goes to an uphill. Then it's a straight all the way to the final corner. And then it will be an uphill into a straight. So basically there are more uphills here, which what's which sucks. I yay, what am I gonna do? Hmm. Well, let's move on to the awakening skills. So having more uphills would be better, but I don't think I have anything that would help with uphills. Who knows? Anyways, going on with the awakening skills, we do have Rival Spirit. From all distance, if you're about to overtake someone, your speed will slightly increase. Cyclone. 
slash slash for mile distance increased speed on corners which is always good level four we have tooth and nail for leaders or betweeners if you try to overtake someone in the second half of the race your speed will slightly increase and supreme downhiller for increased speed on downhills which means if we do get these two down or this downhill skill it only work pretty much at the beginning of the race now onto the evolve skills um cyclone slashes name hasn't been translated so we're just gonna leave it as is <laughs> or let me see blessing flower girl could be wrong could be correct who knows <laughs> but the conditions to get it is the first one is get at least three speed type skills or have at least 800 wisdom which both should be doable um since i've been getting at least five spice uh speed skills before i mean during the training itself it should work out um and the second condition get at least two skills for leader aptitude or two skills for betweener aptitude which all works out as for the skill itself, Blessing Flower Girl, at a random point on a random corner, your speed will increase and you will slightly increase speed of all your teammates. Of all your teammates. So, I didn't know they started implementing skills for the whole team. So, this actually makes sense to use her. Huh. For the second one, it's actually not bad, now that I think about it. For the second one, we do have um, Supreme Downhiller into Veil Swaying Spring Storm. First condition being, or let me go over the skill itself. For short mile distance, at a random point on a random downhill, your speed and acceleration will increase. Huh, so it goes from just a neutral skill to short and mile distance, which is in interesting. Yeah. So the conditions is the first one when the following races the okusho and the sprinter stakes and the, or have at least 800 speed which is very doable and then the second condition get at least two skills for short aptitude or two skills for mild aptitude which works out anyway so that's pretty much it for nishino flower oh actually skills from events which they don't normally show from not mistaken oh they do they do they do oh she has way more than <laughs> than um it shows here so there is good track condition i don't know if they show that one they don't so we have good track condition become a little better on tracks in good condition we need bad track condition uh clever corner your speed will slightly increase on a random corner positive planning which i believe is this one right here if you guys can see where i'm clicking if you're in the first half of the pack during the second half of the opening leg your speed will slightly increase for mile distance nimble step which is the one on top of it for short distance if you're in the first half of the pack during the second half of the middle leg your speed will slightly increase what's in the next one Ambitions for leader during the latter part of the middle leg. If you're less than five meters away from the first place, your speed will slightly increase. And then now I'll be going over the ones that we have no access to. Um, updraft for mile distance slightly increases passing ability when behind in the final leg. Shift gears for mile distance at a random point during the middle leg. If you're in the first half of the pack, your speed will slightly increase. Stand your ground for medium distance. If someone has been trying to overtake you during the final corner or later, your speed and acceleration will slightly increase. And head to head for leader during the first half of the final leg. If you're in the first half of the pack, your acceleration will slightly increase. That's pretty much it for Nishino Flower. Now, let's go over Hishi Amazon. At level 1, 85 speed. 82 stamina, 99 power, 92 stick cuts, guts, and 92 wise. And level 5, we have 103 speed, 101 stamina, 121 power, 112 guts, and 113 wise. 
As for her aptitudes, we do have her at turf distance or turf distance turf races, but um, if you raise her dirt high enough, then you can use her for dirt races as well. As for her aptitudes for distance or races, distance, race distances, we have A on both mile and medium distance, a B on long distance if you want to use her for long distance, and then D for short distance. So she's pretty much going to race all distances. Um, you just have to bring up the aptitudes for short and long distance if you want to. But I believe her best one would be either between medium. I would say medium distance. That's what I'm just assuming. But I'm pretty sure you could use it for mild distance as well, seeing that she has an A in mild distance. But going over her growth rate, she does have 10% on speed, power, and wise, which I do like that combination because it makes it easier to get... Basically, those are the three main skills that we all go for, I would assume. Uh, gives us more room to, let's say, put like a Guts card or a Stamina card if we need more Stamina. But yeah, I mean, let's go see how she does with her unique skills, so or her skills in general. So this one is Extra Large First Bite. So if you overtook someone at least three times during the middle leg, but you are still in the second half of the pack, during any downhill around the end of the middle leg, your speed will increase and your acceleration will slightly increase. Man, downhill again. I just hope I read this course right. Um, I just hope I read this course correctly. Because if I didn't, then that would mean it would be the complete opposite of what I said would start off with an uphill instead into a downhill and into another downhill into a straight but I think I think it was the first time I said it that's what I'm saying let me know if it's majority downhills or uphills because I feel like I'm reading this course map correct the first time first time <laughs> but anyways, moving on, we do have her innate skills, so this one is early gambit. For chasers, if you're in the second half of the pack at a random point during the middle leg, your speed will slightly increase. Binding chains for medium distance slightly slows down girls in the front if you're behind in the final leg. We have Witful. For chaser, if you stay in the back of the pack without panicking, for the first two thirds of the race, your acceleration will slightly increase in the first half of the final leg. Going into her awakening skills, we do have outstanding stratagem for chaser. If you were in the second half of the pack in the final leg, then during the first half of the last spurt, your speed will slightly increase. Then we have daring attack, which is one of the chaser skills that is pretty darn useful. Uh, because it's basically looking for the Eye of a Power card. Um, I think, who else has this? I believe it's also in the Mr. CB Wise card. So I believe though this skill would work out really well if we can get it. If I do get her. Um, it makes me worry less about getting... Using Ayabe for whenever I want to train... Um, he should be Amazon if we do pull her. So, Chaser, if you're in the second half of the pack at a random point during the middle leg, your speed will increase. Um, the next one would be Straight Shot. Straight Shot. For Chaser, slightly increases acceleration on all straight in the last spurt. And then Unrivaled Wits. For Chaser, if you stay in the back of the pack without panicking for the first two thirds of the race, your acceleration will increase in the first half of the final leg. Going on into her um, evolved skills, we have from daring attack into passionate engagement. So for her first condition, win the following races, Punch and Juvenile Phillies or the Queen Elizabeth Cup or 
both of them actually, win the Hanshin Juvenile Phillies and the Queen Elizabeth Cup, or get at least two skills for Chaser Aptitude. And then the second condition, have either 800 Speed or 800 Wisdom. And for the skill, if you're in the second half of the pack at a random point during the middle leg, your speed will increase. Then from Unrivaled Wits into Fiery... Fiery Cake Cutting. Uh, for Chase and Medium, if you don't panic for the first two thirds of the race, your acceleration will increase in the first half of the final leg. And then for the conditions, the first one, trigger the... UN Waltz. I don't know if that's the right translation, but trigger the UN Waltz training event, or have at least 800 power, which would be the easier con condition from the two for the first condition. And then the second one is only get at least two acceleration type skills. As for skills from events, let's go over here. Uh, let me refresh the page. We do have winding down, which is the stamina recovery. Chaser becomes slightly harder to tire out on on <laughs> I was gonna say dire hills on downhills, and then slight detour. When blocked during the last spurt, becomes slightly better at navigating through it. Then we have downhill adept slightly increases down speed on downhills, and then the other two is last leg at a random point in the first half of the last spurt, your speed will slightly increase. And then the last one, stand your ground for medium distance. If someone has been trying to overtake you during the final corner or later, your speed and acceleration will increase. And that is pretty much it for what I assume are the June Bride uh, characters for this year. And I will use my pink tickets because if I do end up getting one of them, then I'll be satisfied and I won't have to use my carrot jewels. Although... Although I realized that I oh cool twin turbo, uh, we can go quickly go over the support cards. I'd say <laughs> I'd say there's there's quite a bit of skills, quite a bit of skills, and we still have the third support card from the event itself. So. I think we'll just go over it. Why not? So, always put at level 50. So, for Daiwa Scarlet, she does have a. It is a Guts card. At level 50, a unique effect. Oh, well, I guess we don't know the effect type because it doesn't show here. But friendship bonus 20%, specialty rate of 50, initial speed of 15, starting bond up 15, race bonus 1%. Oh, that is totally wrong numbers. I apologize. Let's start that all over. Friendship bonus 25%, specialty rate up 80, initial speed up 20, initial bond up 20, race bonus 5%, band count 10%, skill point bonus 1, guts bonus 1, hint level 3, and hint rate up 40%. As for the skills, we do have quite a bit of skills here. We have focus. Your start reaction time is slightly improved. Um, bright future for medium distance. If you're in the front during the middle leg, your stamina will slightly recover. Up tempo for medium distance. Slightly easier to take a good position during the middle leg if you're leading. Um, where is it? I don't. I'm, I was blind for a sec. Stand your ground for medium distance if someone has been trying. To overtake you during the final corner or later, your speed and acceleration will slightly increase. Medium distance straights for medium distance slightly increases speed on straights. Leader's pride or lead pride for runner. If you're being overtaken or blocked from the side and the opening or middle leg, your speed will slightly increase. Um, where is that one? Should be this one with verve. Medium distance, if you're in the front during the middle leg, you will slightly drain the speed of the girls behind you and slightly speed up yourself. Then we have Steadfast for runners. If you're in the lead during the final straight with another girl right behind you, your speed will increase. Danger advance, avoidance. 
for runner become a bit harder to surround in the opening leg and that is pretty much it going for skills from events we have stamina keep for leader if you're in the first half of the pack during the opening leg your stamina will slightly recover um as pace for runner going forwards during the middle leg becomes slightly easier and we have untouchable shadow for runner if you're in the lead during the final straight with another girl right behind you your speed will slightly increase and that is pretty much it for the Daiwa scarlet card now going into the aston machan video of oh, say video at level 50 he is a wise card unique effect gain motivation bonus of 60 when participating in a friendship rainbow training Friendship bonus of 20 percent increased training of 15 percent specialty rate up of 65 wisdom training recovery up by five starting bond up of 25 wisdom bonus of one race bonus of five percent Fend count bonus of 10 percent skill point bonus of one Hint level 3 bonus and hit rate up of 40%. Then going over her skills, she has a little bit less skills. We have runner's tricks for runner. Taking a good position becomes a little bit easier. Short distance straights. Slightly increases speed on straights. Short distance corners. Slightly increases speed on corners for short distance. For run for runner. For runner. Moving forwards becomes slightly easier during the opening leg. Sprinting gear for short distance. At a random point during the final leg, your acceleration will slightly increase. Calculated, that's the wrong one. Calculated preparations for short distance. At a random point during the middle leg, your acceleration and lane movement will slightly increase. And for the skills from events, we have final, no, no, that's not final nail. Nimble step for short distance. If you're in the first half of the pack during the second half of the middle leg, your speed will slightly increase. Final nail for short distance if you're in the first half of the pack during the opening leg. Girls in the back become slightly slower. Danger avoidance. Um, for runners, become a bit harder to surround in the opening leg. And then, concentration. Your start reaction time is improved. And that is pretty much it for those two support cards and a banner. <sighs> Just testing my luck. All right. Now, can I save the summons for the end of the video? Yeah, we should save it for the end of the video. Um, We'll just quickly go over the event, going over the missions and all that. Uh, we go oh we can go over the card as well which i will find here 400k as always so you guys can limit break it max limit break it now this is a vodka stamina card and at level 50 you unlock the unique effect Gain increased training of 10 when the bond gauge is at least 80. Friendship bonus of 15%, starting bond up of 30. Race bonus of 5%, fan count bonus 15%. Motivation bonus of 30%, hint level bonus of hint level bonus level 2, hint rate up 30%, specialty rate up 35, guts bonus 1, and initial guts up 30. As for her support hints, we have Tokyo Racetrack. Works out for the racetrack we are in for the champions meeting. But I don't know if I would want to use it for... Oh, I guess it works out because it is a vodka card. She does. We'll see how many mild distance skills she has. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, straight recovery. During a middle leg straight, your stamina will slightly recover. Position uh, swiper for betweeners. At a random point during the middle leg, if you're not in the front, your speed will slightly increase. Full throttle for betweeners. Wait. Wrong skill. <laughs> Full throttle for betweener. At a random point during the middle leg, use a little extra extra stamina to increase your speed. Now we go to acceleration for mile distance. 
during the second half of the race if you've overtaken someone your acceleration will slightly increase and one chance for medium distance during the first half of the final leg if you're not in the front your acceleration will slightly increase as for the skills from events we have slight detour when blocked during the last spurt become slightly better at navigating through it sharp gaze for betweeners slightly flusters other girls in the final leg and slight oh and one million horsepower for betweeners increases speed on uphills oh that might work out i see pretty tempting and as for the missions we'll go over that real quick to see what we need to do pretty much all of them are all the same except for the races in the end but we should always check just to be sure for the missions look for it real quick so obviously the event bonus points if you want to get extra event bonus points or event points uh the characters you should use is nishino flower hichi amazon vodka that was scarlet and uh, Aston Machan. That's for the characters, and of course, the sport cards are pretty much the same. Um, then into the missions, we do have the daily missions. Obviously, they're all the same, but uh, login, complete training once, win the race with nurturing. So I'm assuming, and win a race at training. Play Team Arena and clear your clear all event daily missions. Uh, you get this by clearing all the limited Im limited missions. And then for the limited time missions, I'm just going to say the total as I always do before. So complete training 12 times, win a total of 60 races, win a total of 40 G1 races, acquire a total of 2 million or more fans through training, play Team Arena 40 times, get a cumulative score of 3 million, 3 million or more in the Team Arena, get in the top 3 in the Sprinter Stakes by training, get in the top 3 of the Queen Elizabeth Cup in training, get in the top 3 of the Mile Championship in training, uh, get top 3 in the Hanshin Juvenile Phillies, at least. Those are... He I'm assuming it's a juvenile Phillies. Because uh, it says JF. At least that's what I think it is. Uh, get in the top three of the Japan Cup in training. Get in the top three of the Arima Kinen in training. And get in the top three of the Oka Award in training. And that is pretty much it. For the um, events itself. Now... I think I'll start saving for the half anniversary after this event. And then I'll just pull if I feel like pulling for a certain character in the future until then. But since the half anniversary is, or two and a half anniversary is coming in close in a few months, I should start saving. But I'll make an exception for the June Bride. Um, I don't think I got anyone from the last one, which was Fine Motion. I don't know if that was even the last one. Let me take a look at the character list. Okay, where are the last, like, wedding type characters? Yeah, Fine Motion and Curran. So, I didn't get any of them. I'm pretty sure I didn't get any of them. So, let's see if we can get it this year. Um, we have about three pulls. If I get one, that's good. That's going to be it. Oh! Guys. I just realized I did a support pull. <laughs> well, that's quite unfortunate. That's quite unfortunate. I wasn't paying attention. And I paid the price. <laughs> If I get a pull here, please, game. Oh, there's so many gold. Uh, let's go through it because we we might be able to switch to gold. Nice nature, nice nature. 
Gold ship. Gold ship. Akura Bakishino. There it is. And we got Hishi Amazon. It's like the game felt bad for me for messing up that one pull, huh? For messing up the first support. <laughs> but it looks like we got Hishi Amazon. It's a lot of fried rice. But we managed to get Hishi Amazon. I get to start saving now. Now, would I love to get both characters? Yeah, but. I'd rather start saving. El Condor Pasa. Oh, I already have her. <laughs> I already have her. I never used her. But we got a double pull. And there it is. Now, you guys are probably wondering why I have never done a Haruura run. It's simply because I just don't like using her. I'll be quite honest. No offense to the character. I think she's hilarious in the anime and all that, but. I just don't like using her in game. I'll be quite honest, but we did manage to get Hishi Amazon. Now, let me know down in the comments if I should use her. Obviously, I feel like I should. But since with the I have an uncertainty with her, with the skills. Uh, well, just the downhill skills. I think she'll be perfectly fine to use. I just don't pick the downhill skills besides her, of course, her unique. Um, well, I think most of the downhill skills were with Nishino Flower. But I think they'll still be quite useful for the downhills in the event itself. Or the race itself. But we did end up getting Hishi Amazon, which I am quite excited about. Um, if I do have enough resources to get to, get her to at least level four, maybe, then probably I'll use her. Or if I can get her level five, would be best. And then um, I'll probably, if you guys do recommend me using her in the championship champions meeting then i would go for it as well i might as well just pair her with narita taishin if anything plus i haven't run hichi amazon in such a long time so we'll see what happens uh but let's actually check if i can level fiver right now should be in the bottom or not hello there she is oh we can we can. Perfect. So might as well get that out of the way now. We do have her at level three, or level five, three star now. And I'll most likely be tomorrow's video just to give it a try since um we just pulled her. Champions meetings here. She can still use her technically, so I think it'll be just fine. I think it'll be just fine. So with that being said, guys. That is pretty much going to be the end of this video. And sadly, I probably could have saved two pulls. Or maybe because I pulled in a support banner and went back. It was like a whole type of <laughs> RNG going on, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So with that being said, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. If you guys made it this far, I do want to say thank you. It is quite a bit long video for just going over all this stuff, but we did. There was a pretty hefty amount of skills that we talked about or went over and all of that. But if you guys didn't make it this far, I do want to say thank you. If you guys can't hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Let me know if I should use this Hishi Amazon for the champions meeting. Because if that's the case, then I'll pair her with Narita Taishin and Silent Suzuka for the champions meeting. If not, then I'll probably stick to my plan and use fine motion. But I feel like it'll be quite a waste to not use Hishi Amazon since uh, we did pull her. She can run mile distance and all of that. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments. And if you guys do decide to pull for Hishi Amazon, let me know how your luck was. Or Hishi Amazon and Nishino Flower, I would say. I should say. Let me know down in the comments if you guys had any good luck, bad luck, or if you're 
simply saving for the half anniversary at this point since it is happening in about two and a half months i'd say two and a half months but with that being said guys thank you once again and as always i'll see you in the next one peace